Are we filming right now? Do you think Tommy's got a full focus in his plaid shirt? But so we can just get from beat to beat to beat. They're not really beats, they're more chapters. But there is a flashlight involved. Oh! Speaking of lighting. Coming straight into When did your you get heart. your period? <laughs> Everybody's got that straight now, right? Guys, today is going to be me. today is going to be a first. Tommy knows the framing really well for this shot. Um, somebody's got to. <laughs> so uh, basically, this video is going to be a start to possibly what could be a recurring series. It's going to be touching on women's health from my perspective. I'm speaking in I statements. I'm not speaking for all of women, but we're just touching on my health journey as it relates to women's. Health issues. Gotta take that this pen, pen has got to go. Got to go. Young. Oh, did you hear it drop? Yeah. And today I thought, underneath that umbrella, I would talk about the flow. Yep. And I had these two lovely sibs here uh, to to join me to ask some questions if they have anything that's on their mind. If also, if you oh. guys want to click down below, there's a subscribe button. <laughs> if you like the video, give yeah. us a thumbs up. Girls, I, was, I hear that maybe it's this myth or fact you can debunk. When girls spend a lot of time together, they end up getting on the same cycle and start cycling together. Can I say something that I've heard? Is that sometimes there's an alpha uterus in the group of women. And mm -hmm. that that uterus, that woman... Is deep in community with the moon. Will, will, have, ...will have a stronger like gravitational oh pull. Gosh. And will pull the... is more likely that the other... Girls, we're going a week more. early this month! Let's go! <laughs> You can tell we're really experts, so let's have that over the entire video. Also, I'm going to make another disclaimer about this video. Right. You know, okay, there are many factors as to why, like, certain turning points in my journey with my period are the way they are, okay? One is society, let's be real. You know, being a woman can be hard. Um, sometimes the knowledge that we are armed with is not full-fledged. Um, and I never want to shame or blame either of my parents throughout this whole, you know, video. Um, they did a good job, and I will say, part of the time, you know, just sometimes as you're growing up a girl, sometimes you have questions that you just don't ask, which we always need to empower ourselves to ask those questions or else you won't get the answers, or I didn't always know the questions to ask, and therefore mm -hmm. did not get the answers. There are many a factor yeah, at play. So it falls. Yeah, yeah, cracking on. I was 13, day after 7th grade ended. And I was in the bathroom. I remember... Now, if it was the day after 7th grade ended, why were you in school? I wasn't in school. I was in our upstairs bathroom. Oh! <laughs> That's why I was I in thought have, you. We been, have we been on the couch? That's... Upstairs in the school bathroom. If anything, we would have been in Mrs. Platt's bathroom. First of all, there's Shout no Shout out to that bathroom and the full-length mirror. First of, all, first of all, they're it derailing this video. Well, Just witness yeah, this. But... I think at some point you might be able to give us a tampon tutorial. And I thought that women walked around 24-7 with a tampon mm. into their hoo-ha. And she explained to me, no, it's actually You mean not. you thought it was the same tampon in there for 24 hours? I just thought hours? that all, no, not 24 hours. I thought every day, all the time, whether it was a fresh or clean one, you always had something up there. Whether you had your period or not? Yeah. Let's frame it to the cam. So, Laura, mm -hmm. my question for you. Lay it on me, eh? Base Tommy, uh, stop. Where, we have to get this out before when, <laughs> we lose any more time. When did you get your period? Who was Th there? Tommy, one thing at a time. I was 13. Don't overwhelm me. Nobody else was there. I was in a private residential bathroom in the upstairs of our childhood home, 610. And... So that's how we know it's the end of the take. Which is a good thing because we've gotten to quite now, remember, the decibel level. We wouldn't be able to hear it. Well, I remember. Sorry, I'm gonna hit you with the. I'm gonna hit you with the when, the where, the how, the what did I do? How did I feel? I was 13 years old, turned 13 in May, just finished seventh grade year. Day after seventh grade ended, the day before on the last day of seventh grade, I think I ate a uh, pizza burger at Ralph's. And that red. really just set things going. That red meat, though. Yeah, and I was in our upstairs bathroom of our childhood home. Okay, I see I see the blood in the toilet. Um, 
I resonated with that scene in My Girl when Veda's in the in the bathroom and she like yells out a scream to Jamie Lee Curtis's character. Um, I definitely didn't feel the need to scream. I wasn't too worried about it. I think I was pretty pretty in the moment. I, uh, my mom was still sleeping in in the next room in her bedroom. It was still early in the morning, and I went in and I said, uh, "Mom, got my period." And I really don't remember. I think she said, oh, "Okay, Laura," and. She said something Normalize. probably a little bit more than that. Normalize. Um, because 50% of the population, right? So I would argue even maybe 51 or 2. Yeah, 52% of the population. Or their life expects. Um, anyway, ideally all, all people with female genitalia have periods, but you know. It's we're, true. We're getting Sometimes a little off track. The case. But anyway, um, yeah, no, I think I probably used one of my mom's pads, I'm pretty sure. And... Um, yeah, and then I remember we had Manifold. We were in summer theater um, around that time, and uh, we were working on Manifold Mancha. That was the musical they were doing that summer. And I remember um, I was in the ensemble. I remember being blocked in in the first opening scene, I think. And we were, you know, just uh, clustered together on the stage, having blocking. I was like sitting on my heels, just like kneeling down on the ground. And uh, I remember just like having this awareness moment. Um, I was wearing my Sophie shorts, my Sophie shorts, sport shorts, and I had a pad on. I was like, yeah, this is life. Okay. I don't think anybody can tell. But yeah. I could This is happening. And that was... You uh, weren't in that show, you little sucker. But I was awake and alive with her the day she got it. <laughs> anyway, let's go to... Oh, our... no. My takeaway is yeah. that when 7th grade ended, I got a dog. And when your 7th grade ended, you got your period. Wow. We both got something miraculous in life. And before 7th grade started, I came out to my mom. Wow. We have so many different videos <laughs> planned in the moment. I'm okay. I actually never sit here. You're the host. Oh, he's in it because I'm a Skylar sister that elevates a status. I'd have to be nice to sit by his side. Maybe that is why I introduce him to Eliza. Now that's his bride. Nice going, Angelica. He's right. You will never be satisfied. I know my sister like I know my own mind. Intercut. You will never fight anyone. Powerless, she's powerless. 